Hey guys, welcome to Your Town Price Home Draw 520, number one dab check drive at Burley Waters. I've got M here with me on the other side of the camera. And I'm Tracy Gillen, the head of marketing and fundraising. Let's go inside and take a look around. So this is a beautiful entry to your home, but we wanted to show you this absolutely gorgeous grass area out the front. So this goes all the way around to your veggie patch, which we're gonna show you in just a minute. And this veranda here on the outside of the house goes down to the dining space. And then on this side over here, you've got your little bit of lawn area and then your driveway and your garage right there. So there's an electric gate and a remote controlled garage door as well. It's really well utilized. It is. So just in case you feel like having a little sit, waiting for someone to come home. And then as we said before, here's that little veranda going around the side of the house. So here is your front entry. We've got some understair storage, which we'll show you very soon. Nice little hat rack on the way in there. These are your stairs up to the second living space, which we'll show you shortly. Huge home office downstairs. So nice bank head seating rung there. Underneath the seating is all storage. And then your home office. So the computer is not a prop. It is yours when you come and work from home here. Storage in here as well. It's a nice big space. The whole house has these shutters or it has blinds, blockouts and shears. The house is ducted and are the ceiling fans in most of the rooms. So the bathroom here that services the downstairs area of the house, so powder room, but it's also a fully functioning shower. We're gonna take you through and show you the huge garage. We'll stop in by the laundry on the way through. So a couple of steps down here to the garage. So there's space for a boat or a jet ski or something like that. There is a roller door just here that, that goes out into that pool area as well. And then as we said, the double garage door there. We've got on this side of the garage there, you've got this shear there because you've got a sliding door there. And we'll show you the clothesline outside when we go outside. So nice big laundry, great bench tops. I love the, love it when we have hanging there in the laundry. So lots of storage underneath. Um, lots of storage on this side as well. And then we know that you love a laundry chute. So this is where the laundry comes down from the second level right near the bathroom. We'll show you where you use that upstairs when we're up there. So double uh, Miller washer and dryer and of course all your cleaning products there ready to go when you move straight in. So we're going to take you upstairs first to level two. So here we are on level two. So we have the second living space right here going to take you down and show you the other bedrooms. We'll leave the master to last up here. So nice big bedrooms, all ducted air conditioning and ceiling fan as well. And we've got your shelving and drawers and the robes as well as hanging space the other side. So the bathroom just here, this services the bedrooms on this side of the upstairs area. So you've got a separate powder room here with a toilet and then nice big bath, movers there and then a shower that's got the rain and also the handheld. So, more storage along here. And then I know that you all love a laundry chute. So right next to the bathroom here is your laundry chute, which goes down into that area I showed you downstairs just before in the laundry. So other two bedrooms down here. So shutters on all the windows and again, ducted air conditioning and ceiling fans. And you've got your 
robes as well. Another bedroom around here. I love how nice and large all the bedrooms are. So you could put extra sitting spaces or another little study desk in them if you wanted to. And then, yeah, nice long hanging space there as well as your shelving and drawers there. Now let's, so lovely. Let's go check out the master M. So you're just passing your upstairs living and your stairs. Really nice natural light coming in here from outside. There is a blind on that window so you can shut it for privacy later at night time if you'd like to. Nice big barn door on the master bedroom. And these gorgeous ceilings, Em, have a look at those. So the windows here have lockout curtains as well as the shears. So you can choose to block out the light. Yeah, or have just the subtlety of a shear there. So nice television, good size TV at the end of the bed there with a little table there to pop your remote and those sorts of things in. And then the walk-in rope here. So there is a cavity slider here. Lots of space for handbags and shoes. And I love the skylight, it gives it that extra bit of natural light, which is... Yeah, I love a good skylight. Absolutely. And then this, I love this tub, so nice, this big freestanding tub. So there's louvers, but the louvers are frosted, so you've got that privacy. Nice big shower. Such a great And you've got your handheld and your rain shower there, and then your toilet is just around the corner there. Nice big area here, so storage under each of the basins, and then you've got that double basin space for dual occupancy of the main bedroom. So let's go and check out the living spaces downstairs. And I can't wait to show you a little bit more of the garden. Okay, so let's check out the most important part. Before we do that, I wanted to show you that under storage stair place. It's huge. So nice to have lots and lots of storage. Although sometimes that makes you accumulate too much stuff. I know that's what happens with me. Okay, so this stunning living space right here. It's just wow, it's so nice. Nice and open plan. The doors from the living area to the outdoor area are stacker doors. And then you've got your built-in storage under the TV here. Which is great that you can clean underneath it. Somebody said the other day you could put a RoboVac, no problem there. That's your thing. I love this chair as well. Gorgeous chair. It is. Fireplace. I love how transies in all this house is. So you've got that great, all of these doors that open up to outside, but then you've got this cozy fireplace for winter. Which on the Gold Coast, it still does get a little bit cool. So, you know, we can, we can use it a little bit. On these areas as well, these are French doors which open out onto the balcony. There's a little sitting area just out there. So you've got your dining space just here. It's got six chairs there, so you could sit more. Definitely could. You could definitely see eight there for sure. This is again more doors that go outside. So you can really get that, take full advantage of the corner block and have those cross breezes, which is wonderful. Okay, so this magnificent kitchen. You've got the, uh, the fridge here. We know you love, uh, have a little peek inside. love a little peek inside. <laughs> little ice maker there, right underneath that space of the fridge. And then you've got your freezer compartments here. This is kind of cool as well how you've got the opportunity to just open louvers and get those cross breezes if you don't want to have air conditioning or fans on in summer. 
These are a nice feature, this gorgeous ceiling, pendant lights and skylights. It's a real feature, this pitch ceiling through the house, even in the master bedroom, which is lovely. So we've got your bins, built-in bins there, cutlery drawers. This side has lots and lots of nice deep storage. So smeg induction cooktop. We do have a range hood just up there. It's just really nicely concealed. And you can look out on your veggie patch just out there, which we'll show you when we go outside. Dish drawers, double dish drawers, which is nice when you're at home alone or then entertaining. It's great to be able to run one after the other. I just bought one of those, it's fantastic. Butler's pantry. This one's a really spacious one. And then, yeah, all the smeg appliances there. The, the fragrance from that candle is unbelievable. <laughs> and then this is the cavity slider so you can hide it all away if you've got some mess in there and you're entertaining. So power points on the outside of the bench, which is great. Nice big double sink. Got uh, four, nice, four nice stools there. These are great bifolds, so they sort of come right back. So entertaining your outdoor area and your indoor area really are seamless. So eight seater here. And then just around the corner here, it's where you have your barbecue. It's a great entertaining home. And I love that you can literally, if you've got small animals or children, they can literally run the whole grassed area around the house and fully secure fencing all around. I know that's important. Let's check out this pool area, M. So lighting, track lighting in the stairs. And then uh, your little towels here waiting for you to jump out of the pool at an outdoor shower if you feel like you need to rinse off before you pop inside. And a kind of little Palm Springs vibe here in the pool area. So on this side, if you just take a little deviation, you can see those glass doors that came from the garage where you can bring your laundry out here. So outdoor lighting and security cameras out here as well. This is the small roller door I was talking about before that you can access the pool area. Can you see yourself just lazing away a Sunday there, Em? And then around here, this is your pool filter inside this encasement here. And this is back to your front yard. You've got your air conditioning, mechanics there, your wheelie bins and your clothesline. I just lo I love how pretty this is looking back. So there's that huge big, um, it's almost like a Raffles Hotel um, fan. So there's one there and there's one in the living area, which is beautiful as well. It's a nice feature. The outdoor lighting in the plants, it's beautiful as well. But lots of grass, so nice to have this much grassed area. It is, and again, it's that advantage of the corner block, right? So here's the outdoor fire pit. And then just around here are these magnificent little veggie gardens. So you've got some snow peas, some mint. Tomatoes there. And then the lettuce. And of course, having your own lettuce is really important. <laughs> Farmers markets aren't that far away, but you don't need them because you've got it growing right here. Great to show this area around that you can walk back around to the front yard. That's the outdoor veranda there off the dining area we showed you before. And then back out to your front area. Certainly have. And I, I love the way the fencing around the whole block is so secure. So for little kids or for pets. Yes, so great. So there you go. Absolutely incredible property. $3.6 million worth of first prize, $50,000 worth of gold bullion included in that. 
good luck. Get your tickets now. They will not last for this one.